Happy July 2nd, my esteemed colleagues. Um, I was inspired um, by Chris Ohato today, and I'm hoping I'm saying that right, but I think I am. Um, as I went to look at her page as she was making some improvements, taking the refresh class, I thought a little bit about um, one of the problems that plagues Moodle, and that is the um, inevitable scroll of death. The more content you get on a Moodle page, the more you have to scroll. Now, of course, one thing you can do is each individual has the ability to um, show just one topic at a time. So for example, if I was on this page as a student, I could click on this little square right here. And if I did that, what would happen is that all of the topics would collapse and I would only see one at a time. And if I wanted to get to any, other th any of the other topics, I could click here and I could jump down to any of the topics. Of course, that would be helpful to have, I don't know, um, somehow the topic headers are not in there, which that's a little bit surprising. I'd have to figure that out, but it should say the topic header. There's probably a little check mark for that. Now, if you make this change in your course by clicking on that uh, square, some people get a little bit um, confused because suddenly their, their boxes will be gone. And so I wanted to let you know that you can, of course, get them back by clicking Show All Topics. That's an individual setting, by the way. If you do that in your course as a teacher, it doesn't appear that way to students. Everybody makes that choice for themselves. But another one I want to let you know has to do with adding folders. So for example, if I go here under the parent resources and you can see that there is these links to PDFs that are called Everyday Math Parent Letters. And if those are all posted nicely in there, um, it creates quite a long thing. So you could create a folder and chunk those in a folder and then suddenly you've reduced your scroll of death. All right, so I'm going to try to do that to show you how to do to figure that out. Okay, so you would go to the bottom of that topic and you'd add a resource and you're going to choose folder. And in here, I'm going to type in the name of my folder, which is going to be Everyday Math Parent Letters. And I would say some sort of description. This is a required field. So um, I would say something like uh, parent letters are available for each unit. Now, if I knew more about it, I probably would say a little bit more about it. So what do I want to put in that folder? So I'm going to say add. And I am going to go to private files, I hope. Where am I going to find those? Recent files? Hmm. No. Server files. Ah, there it is. There they are. Okay. So they are right here. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. That's strange. Hmm. Well, that would be one that I would want in here. So I'm going to select this file and that goes in there. This is a little bit harder than I thought, but I think it's going to be worthwhile in the long run. So then I'm going to go do that with the next one. And I found it there and I select that one. And then I'm going to go and find the next one. Hmm. I think I'd have to tease in here to make sure, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that I get the, all the right ones. Now, once I have them in there, I would want to be consistent about the names of the file. So one of the things that you could do is you can click here and you can say rename. And I would want to make sure that that it looks the same as the one below it. So I would do unit 10 and then I would do parent letter dot PDF. Um, and I'm going to take out the parent because unit 11 doesn't have the parent in there. So there, I would want them to look exactly the same. Oh, and maybe I'll take away the underscore between unit and 11. All right, so I'm going to take away that. 
because the more consistency you have in the name of um, the units, the better. So, so for this one, I might do that same thing where I'm going to say everyday math underscore unit 12 underscore letter dot PDF, which is the required extension. So then it looks really organized um, for parents who might not be as savvy of a computer user as you are. So then I go down to the bottom and I am going to click save and return to the course. And you are going to notice that um, the, the folder appears here. And I'm going to check back to you once I do this all. Um, I'm going to check back and I'm going to show you the final product. But what you could do at this point is you could delete the individual ones. So I have 12, 11, and 10 there. So I could just go ahead and that's not deleting it from Moodle. That's just removing it from displaying on the home page, which you wouldn't need to do because now it's going to display inside the folder. All right, I'm going to be back in a moment with my finished product. Okay, so I'm back and it's kind of cool because it's sort of like one of those uh, cooking shows where I actually did about 10-15 minutes of work and you just get to see the end product. Alright, so I went into this area and I clicked on the X's to delete all of the postings of the individual PDFs and I added them all to this. And so when you add something, it um, by default goes to the bottom of that topic block, but I can click on the crosshair and I can drag it up and I can drop it right here and ultimately you know I could put these two things in the folder as well if I wanted to and then I could delete the header and it would just be everyday path par uh, math parent letters now one more thing to note is that in the um, description you have all of your editing tools so if you had a combination of files and links to web pages, you could actually put those hyperlinks in here and you could really condense things. So, very last thing I want to show you is what this looks like now if parents were to go into that folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my role to a student or a guest and now that block looks a whole lot better and if I click on this it's nice and organized with the description at the top and then um, files all named um, similarly. So I hope that helps to improve your page design and delivery of your communication.